Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm the inventor of advanced soft tissue release as their specialty. I'm also a cancer survivor and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headaches, pain and fatigue before I invented Aster specialty. All right, Brian, tell me what's going on with your shoulder, left shoulder. Um, I'm about nine months post-op okay. from a shoulder replacement. Okay. And um, I had regular PT with okay. that. How long you had the PT? Um, I had about three months. Three months of physical post -op, therapy. Yeah. Okay. What other treatment you had there? Uh, no other treatment, okay. just the physical therapy. So, uh, can you tell me now how do you feel, how much pain, what limitation do you currently have? Um, I do have um, lots of um, limitations um, moving. Mm -hmm. um, my work requires uh, that I, that I, that I um, move on the left move to move uh, constantly. Mm -hmm. So, I'm finding that. Um, uh, that I have very limited range of motion, okay. or not good range of motion, mm -hmm. um, and also I have general weakness and just... Um, and your shoulder. Yes. So um, from zero to 10, how much you rate your pain at worst? Uh, at worst, it's an eight. Okay. Um, and pretty constant three. Um, so you have a constant three out of 10, just Correct. doing nothing, and Correct. where do you feel it? Uh, basically in the front part of my shoulder okay. and the, the side. side yeah. All right. So, and what aggravate your symptoms? What make it goes to eight? What kind of motion? What do you do? Oh, that's going to be anything where I'm required to lift past 90 degrees past or 90 up degrees. to 90 degrees. Okay. It's, um, it, it, it's, it's uh, quite it's, intense. Okay. Did you have any other treatment in physical therapy? Not since the physical therapy, no. Okay. So uh, I want to actually see your range of motion right now. Lift your arm and tell me how much pain. We're gonna do flexion first. Okay. That's where you feel pain. It's almost mm -hmm. 90, a little bit over 90. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do abduction. So thumb up like this. Okay. And bring it to the side. Is that as far as you can go? Yes. Wow, okay. All right, so can you do this? That's very limited. Yes. Yeah, look at your face. How much pain? Uh, the, and the return is also The return painful. is painful? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, uh, that's probably a f six. Six. Okay. I will have you stand up. I want you to do this. Okay. Back okay. Here. Wow. How much pain with that? Uh, that's a six as well. Six as well. Yes. And it, where do you feel it? In front? The back? Uh, front. Front. Okay. Yes. All right, so relax, don't, don't aggravate it. Let me see the other side. Oh, did you have any issue on the other side too? No. Is that your normal? Is that? Like, you can turn around. Okay. Okay, so typically you, you should be able to really bring it to your shoulder plate. Yeah, that's, 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 normal. that's normal for me. So you, you were able to do painful. that before? With the right shoulder, or the left shoulder, yes. Okay. Yes, I was. You were able to get to your sh to your touch your shoulder plate backward. Uh, uh yes. Okay. Yes. And even you limited on uh, on the right yes. side. Yes. And y you had a total shoulder too. Full disclosure, yes, that one's also yeah. been replaced. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I will have you lie on your back head over there, and I will take your range of motion. Okay. okay. So like. You have not gained more range of motion than this range of motion after the uh, like with physical therapy, or it's progressively getting worse now. You know, it's um, we never really got to more than ninety. Um, not without assistance. Well, that's not functional. No. Okay. All right. So uh, stop when you feel pain. Lift your head up. Relax. Okay. So. I want you to bring your shoulder up like this all the way and stop when you feel pain. How does that feel? That feels not so bad. Okay, so this is about um, flexion is 95. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, so we're going to do abduction. So flexion was 95, so now bring it toward your ear. And this, you tell me if you feel any pain, okay? So this is 80 degrees. So flexion 95, abduction 80 degrees. Relax. So you feel more pain when you go down. That's up there. Yeah, yes. Okay, so we're going to do external rotation, internal rotation. Can you bring it to the side? Yes. Okay, relax, relax. Okay. And for internal rotation, let's bring it down like this. Okay. For internal rotation, you get uh, 40 degrees. Okay, external rotation. Backward, 40 degrees. And here. Okay, so 35 degrees. Okay. Relax. 40 and 35 degrees. Is your other shoulder, you have normal range of motion or it's limited to? No, limited range of motion, but I don't have the associated pain with it. Like, is it the same like this? Um, I think the range of motion is better, mm -hmm. but I don't have near the... Limitation? Uh, no. Okay. No, it's not. Okay, make sure this is not painful. And you feel most of your tightness in the front or... Uh, yeah, and in the side, and, and on, on those, some of those, the return on the back too, just the whole thing. Okay. So you basically halfway with all your shoulder range of motion, half range of motion. Make sure what I'm doing is not painful, okay? So you feel the tightness here? That's a very mm -hmm. tight fascia, actually. Mm -hmm. And make sure that's not painful. So what did they do in physical therapy when they work with you? Um, range of motion. Okay. Um, some supported um, range of motion. Active assistive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, just general stretching. Okay. They did not do any soft tissue or try to break the scar tissue and the adhesion? No, and I think that's part of the reason on my right shoulder, mm -hmm. um, they did do some, some of that. Some manual stuff? Correct, but not on the left. Really? No. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. When you have a scar tissue and fascia restriction, it will never be released by stretching or exercises. We have to apply mechanical force. Think about this way. You know, you have a rock or you have excessive cement if you do construction. How are you going to break it? You have to sure. mechanically do that. Sure. Uh, if you stretch, like think about your muscle like a rubber band. And the scar tissue is like a knot in the rubber band, so the rubber band does not stretch much. Right. It does not matter how much right. you stretch it. Right. It's really at doing the wrong thing to begin with. Um, actually, if you overstretch, you might cause tear in the rubber band instead of like breaking that adhesion that's already there. Is that too much? No. Man, feel that scar tissue here. Make sure it's not painful what I'm doing, okay? No, not at all. Have you had any head trauma or accidents or anything like that? No. Okay. Do my favor, I want you to actually sit up facing sure. this way. Okay. But don't fall again. So it's at the left side here. You did not hit your head or you had any falls or no. something hit. So how did you injure the shoulder to begin with? Um, uh, this shoulder was a proactive decision um, mm -hmm. that my surgeon and myself made mm -hmm. um, after we replaced the right sh shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, um, I was having some dull mm -hmm. 
dullness, uh, ache, achiness, general achiness. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole thing. In here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and had a lot of degeneration there in the joint, like a lot of arthritis here. Um, you know, there wasn't nearly as much as in the other shoulder. Because mm -hmm. you're very young for that. Yeah. yeah. So how did you hurt this shoulder to begin with? Um, how did you do this? There was no, no. there was no, um, there was no single event. Mm -hmm. It was just some general achiness and... Wear and tear? Uh, correct. Make sure what I'm doing is not painful. Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay, now let's uh, let's actually see your range of motion. Let's do the flexion and tell me how that feel. It's gone a little bit further. Good. Yeah, right. that is. I don't have the pain here. Mm -hmm. So it's the pain you felt it. Difficult for me to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's a little bit further. Yeah. Let's do the abduction. Thumb up and bring it to the side. That's a little bit better. Usually you should gain more deflection first, then secondly, the abduction. Okay. So when you do those two range of motion, where do you feel the tightness? Um, front of the shoulder on this. In the front? But not nearly as uh, do you Show me exactly the spot. That's a spot, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do the abduction and show me the exact spot. Um, that seems to be in the back. In the back? On my shoulder. You feel pain or just tightness? Just tightness. Okay, so yeah, the pain is pain. not an issue now? Yeah. Okay, All right. And I didn't have the pain on the return. Return when you were doing yeah, that before that I... Was pretty, that's when it was almost worse on the oh, return. Okay. Then the deflection looks a little bit uh, more. Okay. Your abduction, you were like 80 degrees. You did not get like to the 90 when mm -hmm. I did it lying mm -hmm. in the back. So it's this spot right in here. Yeah. That's where you feel it is. How's this? Good. Okay. Do you have poly at home? I do. Okay, I do. Okay. I do have a so you, you already start to get a little bit more range of motion today. Immediately you would need to do a range of motion. So uh, I think another issue with you, weaknesses, because you have not passed the 90 degrees for that's over right. a year now. Right. So that's might going to take us a little bit more time. So um, if you have a decent strength, I expect you're going to go a little bit further because your muscle strong enough to hold. Uh, your your arm, your arm probably, you know, uh, good, probably t at least twenty to forty pounds weight. That's so right. your muscle should be able to lift right. it just without lifting any other weight. Right. You're probably thirty to forty pound in your arm. So uh, so we want to strengthen the your shoulder and muscle. Gonna get here. Look at this. Actually, we'll have you have a seat here. Visually, I can see the big knot in here, mm. big one. Oh yeah, I feel. So that. you you feel oh, that? Oh yeah. That's actually the size of it is like a quarter, oh. you know, the the size of quarter here. Oh. You feel it? 
I see it here. Make sure it's not too much, okay? Yes. Okay, let's turn around and I want to see your range of motion again. Flexion. Look at that. You're going further. Yeah. Beautiful. It's not painful. Yeah, yeah. So let's do abduction. And minimal on the going down. turn. Let's one further too. Beautiful. Okay, where do you feel it now? Um, that, interestingly, man, now it's kind of on not, the top. not in the back anymore, mm -hmm. but kind of on top. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, so you can relax. So when we release one spot, and uh, you will start to, your brain will start to compare loose to tight area. So you start to recognize that there's other tight area yes. that your, your brain was just not paying attention to right. because that was not as significant tightness as the original one. As, do you have issue with your neck? Uh, I do have tightness in my neck. So you yes. see a range of motion left and right. Rotate. Uh, That's tight. The other side. Mm, you're limited. Very neck. tight. Wow. It is tight. And forward. Well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Never said it was going to be easy for you today. Well, it's uh, actually after doing that, so you, you should be able to gain a little bit more range of motion. So let me just release this area for you. Okay. How's that? Good.
make sure what I'm doing is not causing any soreness. Some more to do. Okay. Man, you're already very tight. You can mm -hmm. see actually the muscle mm -hmm. yeah. both sides. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. No. Okay. I'm very sensitive there. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. That's all right. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Gotta get at it. Too much? Yes, no? Like, that's for the toler totally tolerable. Okay. Make sure you say something. Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. So you did not hit your head ever. Well, gosh, I've had. Um, Man, you get a lot of scar tissue here. Well. That's what I was going to say. Um, you know, playing, playing five years of, of competitive college level football, mm. um, there was constant blows. It was yeah. on a during the season on a daily basis. Wow. Uh, That's so, rough on the body. Yes, very much That's so. So no that. single event, but just, just you know over five years of just doing this. You feel this hard tissue here? Oh gosh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here in the back of your head. Anything? Do you clench your teeth? Do you clench your teeth or grind? Um, gosh, I don't think so. Hmm. Flexion. How's that? That's beautiful, okay. Abduction. That's nice. Beautiful. Where do you feel it now? Uh, front. You feel it in the front? Mm -hmm. Okay. Feel that. This one is, yeah, you can see it with the tool here. Just going over it, and it's, it's not as fine. All right, so we'll do flexion. That's very beautiful. That's nice. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Let's do abduction. That's look like your other one. That's going further. Oh, that was 80 degrees. Look at that. <laughs> that is not, are you trying to show off now or? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm, 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 get, I'm taking what it's given me. Yeah, so that's beautiful. Feel like look at that. Yeah. That's beautiful. And it's not painful. Do, do me a favor. We're going to do 10 flexion, just yeah. back and forth. Look up nice and tall, and you tell me if you feel any pain, okay? You're actually going further now. It's just your brain is not uh, stopping you because of tightness. That's beautiful. Let me know if you feel tired, okay? Okay. Yeah, you might feel tired. Just do five, five and five abduction. Okay. I want to keep doing them because it feels That's good. beautiful. We're going to do more after this but because I want to measure your range of motion. That's really nice. Any pain discomfort? Uh, just tightness. Tightness. Yeah. 
you, you will continue feel the tightness, but you're gonna feel it at the end range. But not the beginning the of the range. Either. That's beautiful. Yes. yes. Okay. How is yeah. that? That's, Can you tell any difference? Yes. Definitely mm -hmm. tell a difference. Um, yeah. It's tightness and not. Mm -hmm. um, it's not painful. It's just very tight. Very tight. Yeah. Let's say I have a seat, and I want you to do this motion, because that was like uh, limited for. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Yeah. So just tightness, no pain. Not painful. Beautiful. Just tremendous tightness. Okay. I expect pain. that because there's a lot of scar tissue, so it will take us a few sessions to, to shape the whole thing up. Right. So your flexion was 95 degrees, okay? Uh, let's measure it uh, again now. Okay. okay. So that was 95. And now is... There you go. That is uh, 118, very close to 120. No, one second. Uh, here you go, you move more. Okay, that's 120. So you gained for flexion 25 degrees. Not bad. No. Abduction was 80 degrees. Okay, let's do this. Let's see. Range of motion usually different, so uh, supine than lying down. But because we took this, this is one uh, one eighteen exactly. Okay, one eighteen. So you almost gained like forty degrees in this. Okay. This one. Yeah, thirty eight. Thirty eight. Okay, internal rotation was forty degrees. Okay. So let's do the internal rotation. Oh wow, that's nice. Okay, that was 40 degrees. Now is uh, 72. 72 degrees. That's not. That's really beautiful. You very close to normal here. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Uh, external rotation 35. Uh, so let's see how far we can go with that. 35. That was 35, now is 40, 40, let me see, 47, that is 47, that's not bad, it was 35, okay, so if you can sit up for me, the flexion was 95, now it's uh, 120, abduction was, yeah. um, amazing, it, 80, 118 now. Uh, external rotation 35 now, it's 47. Internal rotation was 40, 72 now. Yeah. You, so you had physical therapy for three months before and yeah. now you had just one aster treatment. Can, can you see any difference? What you're feeling about the treatment? Yeah, well since you mentioned the, the physical therapy, these were monthly goals that mm -hmm. I was going for. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten better results from mm -hmm. one visit mm -hmm. than I did on monthly goals from normal PT, yeah. post-surgical post PT. Yeah. So uh, amazing. And without the pain, um, I didn't notice the um, monthly goals for the PT would come at the cost of pain. tremendous amount of you know, that was really pushing it to get to those levels. That's not function. When you right. push the, like you gain range of motion, but with pain, you were never going to do that in real life. But exactly. now you were doing the range of motion without. Right. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't um, keep up with the, with the, um, uh, you know, of course there's, there's things you have to do at home. And that's one of the reasons I probably didn't keep up with it is because it was, it was painful. difficult to get yourself uh, to that position. Mm -hmm. um, so with this, I'm already mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. but without the pain. So I feel more, more confident that mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to go home and hit goals mm -hmm. or maintain, maintain this, the range, maintain of motion. this range, range of motion without having to, uh, you know, in, in a more positive. Mm -hmm. Without pushing yourself through the pain. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get helpful tips on how to relieve pain. 
And if you are a healthcare provider and interested to be ASTER certified, uh, you can follow the link below. Uh, you will get information on how to register for ASTER online class. Uh, there is over uh, 40 studies that support ASTER treatment model, and also there is uh, over uh, 400 studies that utilize by ASTER treatment. And feel free to check over more over. 220 videos that most of them actually real treatment videos uh, we'll see you soon